My name is Miss Dora and I'm coming to you from Trinity United Methodist Church in Milford, Ohio. And I'm so glad that you were able to join us today, either um, in person worship or online worship. We're glad to have you. Um, I hope that all of you guys are doing your Lent in the Box kits that we sent out. Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying them and learning some great lessons, but don't worry. If you haven't got started with them yet, it's fine. You can always catch up with the activities or if you just choose to do the activities for a holy week, that would be fine too. Um, I still think you'll get some valuable lessons in, out of them, so it'll be fine. Um, the last time I checked, there were still a few left at church, so I think you're still good to go to pick one up if you need one. All right? Okay, now let's get started on today's lesson. I'm going to move you down a little bit so we can see. Okay. Um, I brought some supplies today. Um, all these you guys can um, find at your house. Um, sometimes we do stuff that you can't, but this one you can do at home. All right, so first I brought some vegetable oil, some cooking oil, okay? And this oil is gonna represent worry, all right? So we have a little label on it that says worry. Let's see if it sticks. All right, and what do you guys think it means to worry, right? Worry is when we're afraid or we're concerned because we don't know what's gonna happen, right? We, we are thinking too much about what's gonna happen in the future, all right? I also brought some water, okay? Now, so we can see this better, I have some food coloring too. And we're gonna put the food coloring in it just so it's a little bit easier to see. Oop, added quite a bit this around a little bit. Pretty color. Okay, so this water represents trust. All right. Trust. All right. So what do you think it means to trust God? Okay. Trusting God means that we remember that he is in control and that he knows everything. We don't have to be afraid and we don't have to worry because God is taking care of us, okay? So does God want us to worry or does he want us to trust in him? Yeah, he wants us to trust in him, right? Um, do you think we can trust God and worry at the same time? I know this is one that Miss Dora struggles with sometimes, right? Um, let's show, let our trust and our worry jars help us find the answer, all right? Pour these in at the same time. Oh, almost poured it out the thing. Okay, at first it looks like they're mixing, right? They can, but give it just a little time and what happens? Can you guys see it? They separate, they can't exist at the same time. They can't mix together. You cannot be fully trusting God if you're worrying at the same time. The two don't mix. God wants us to trust in him whenever we're tempted to worry because he cares for us. He is in control and know that every he knows everything that's happened in your past. He knows everything that's happening to you now and he knows everything that's going to happen in your future. Okay? God is more than worthy of our full, complete trust. My favorite Bible verse says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And that's from Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Okay? So let's remember to put our complete trust in God. Let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together today to learn the importance of putting our full trust in you. Remind us when the worry starts to creep in that you can handle our problems no matter how big or small and that when we trust you fully, you'll help us with those and worry cannot exist. When worry starts to weigh us down, help us to remember all the good things you've done for us already and all the good things that you're still to come. Lord, I pray for everyone that hears this, that they experience the peace that can only come through you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. 
And here at Trinity, we like to do a special blessing each week, and I would whoops, love for you guys to join us. All right? In all that we think, in all that we say, in all that we do, may we glorify you. God bless you guys. I hope you have a super terrific week, and I'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.